action. Right, now here we see my ingredients which are a bit of a cheat. Uh, it's under five pounds, but there are actually five, five uh, icings. Gone for a red onion, red pepper, butternut squash, uh, courgette, and some goat's cheese. Plan of action is going to be cutting the butternut squash in half, spooning out all the pips. Then I am going to put some, yeah, just slice and diced bits of the onion, the pepper, and the courgettes uh, in, raising it for about 45 minutes. With about 10 15 minutes left to go, I'm then going to add a few little bits and bobs of, uh, of goat's cheese. This is something I've seen done before, but I haven't done myself, so there is the potential that, like most of my culinary recipes, it might go a little bit wrong. But anyway, we'll see. Okay, so what we've done now is we've got the uh, butternut squash which has been cut in half. I'm uh, just going to put this in a oven dish. And what I've done uh, is I've taken some red pepper, uh, some courgette and some red onion which you can see here. I'm just going to mix that all in together. And yeah, it's going to go into the place where the pips were. So it just goes in nicely like that. There it goes. And what I'm going to do later on is uh, add some goat's cheese which is just going to go on top of them as well. Uh, going to give these about 45 minutes in the oven but it's definitely worth just monitoring them uh, to see how they're coming along. Uh, if it looks like it's going to be done a little bit earlier then obviously take them out. Um, and uh, yeah so goat's cheese gets 10 minutes towards the end. Uh, also just going to add a little bit of olive oil. Um, Jam, have you got some olive oil? Oh just there take it. Uh, do you want normal olive oil or chilli? Uh, I'm going to go for a bit of chilli olive oil if you've got yeah, some. There we go. Which is great, thank you. Um, just going to put a little bit of olive oil in the, uh, in the veg that's been cut up, uh, just so it's not going to dry out in the oven, especially as it's going to be on a relatively high temperature, about 200 degrees centigrade. Um, just to finish this off, I'm going to go for some salt and pepper. Uh, I'm not going to go for anything too complicated uh, in terms of the spices, because there's loads of flavours that we've got in here as it is. So just a little bit of salt, not too much, but let's take a little bit for each one, just sprinkle it down as well, a little bit for this, and sprinkle it down as well. And then black pepper, normally if you've got uh, actual pepper that's going to be fresh that you can grind in, uh, it's going to be better than this stuff, but uh, make do. Just a little bit on there and a little bit on there. Right. As soon as the oven is uh, heated up, they are then going to be ready to go in. Fantastic, thank you. So they've been in for about 40 minutes, so uh, just going to have a quick check on them. Uh, as you can see, they're starting to develop a little bit of a skin just around the edges, which means that they're going to be done quite shortly. Also, the roast veg is starting to look quite peachy as well. Mm. So just going to put them down and just add a little bit of, uh, this is just simple Welsh goat's cheese. Uh, so nothing too complicated with this. Just going to add little little bits just on top. Don't do this earlier because the cheese will just become burnt and ruin all, all the veg. So yeah, just about five minutes beforehand, just uh, just add a few bits and bobs just on top. And the same on the other one. It's quite a nice this type of cheese, and it? it's quite flaky. So you can get small, small little bits. It's looking good, Harry. Yeah, fingers crossed it'll oh, taste okay. <laughs> I don't know what's that. Oh. It's not even mine. Yeah, just a little bit more in the middle. Yeah. Uh, might still want a little bit, actually. Yeah, yeah but... Cool. It's lovely. Right, just give that five more minutes in the oven, and uh, yeah, it should be good to go. Great.